We started Kupu in 2007 uh, with a desire to engage young adults and help them to give back and find ways that they can give back today, but also to build them up for tomorrow as well. So we focus on the green job training sector. And for us, it started in conservation and natural resource management. Um, and so our, our youth go out and they help to restore these areas. Some of them, the most, some of those amazing areas left that we have on the planet. I joined Kupu because I wanted to do something like more meaningful with my summer. Usually I just would go to summer school or hang out at home, but I thought that I would actually do something this summer that would help other people too. Our entry level programs like our HYCC summer programs, they really take inexperienced young adults and, and teach them job skills. And then, you know, we, we've um, created a nice diversity of partners in the renewable energy and sustainability areas too. You know, Synetric has been a partner of ours where they're training up our youth how to be PV installers and we're actually able to um, hire some of them. So we have some of our kids in our Urban Core program that are coming from homelessness or coming from the projects. And then they're learning how to become um, PV installers among other things. From there, we have our vocational training track where they can move on into more specific areas of study or, or service. And then we have a year-round internship program in conservation where we put about 60 to 80 young adults every year in full-time positions at different agencies throughout the state, from the Department of Land and Natural Resources to the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, Nature Conservancy, National Park Service. I recently wrote an email just saying like thank you for developing this program because it's it's been so beneficial for us and I do think um, the kids enjoy it and the fact that they come back looking to us and asking us if there's internships um, for future purposes I think you know I do think it's a great experience for the kids and a great help for us. All my mentors did a really good job of kind of showing me things that you don't really learning classrooms, you can't learn by Googling them, actually going out and seeing it and being part of it. That's something that definitely Kupu gave me. They get to go to places that no one else really gets to go to in this state, or a few people get to go to. They're on the top of mountains um, one day and then they could be down in a wetland or in a coastal area the next day. And it's just, just amazing um, opportunities for them. What Kupu has done, in amazing ways, and we work with them for 10 years now, is they have brought young people back to help introduce them to place so that they will reacquaint themselves and reestablish a relationship with place and an understanding and a value set that our, we are to take care of this place. After the whole program, I changed my entire point of view of what I wanted to do. And I decided that I want to be more of an engineer now. I'm thinking about doing environmental engineering. And I want to keep all my work in Hawaii and try to help out our local area and make a big impact on the area that we live on. And I want to ensure that it's still here for future generations to you know, take part in and enjoy and take care of it themselves. In the workplace, um, we have to take care of business. We need people on the outside to really take care of people um, and to develop the next generation. So we, are, um, we see Kupu as a really great partner. You know, we have about 400 members um, currently in our program that in, in any given year. Um, and they've, they engage anywhere from 15 to 17,000 volunteers in a year. That equates all together, we, we provide about 230,000 service hours into the community, which is over $4 million worth of, of work that's being done throughout the state. Our total benefit last year in 2011 was about $6 million, um, and that is uh, at least a one to two cost of benefit. So for every dollar that was put into Kupu, at least two to two and a half dollars of benefits have come out. And our budget has been growing, so we're, we're excited to see that we're able to expand those opportunities. Well, this, this program really just gives you a sense of respect like for the land that you come from. And to know that you can't always just keep taking and taking and taking from the land, that you also have to give back. And that's what we're doing when we come out and help it. I know we teach them about conservation 
and life skills and applications of conservation, but really the goal is to just encourage them, encourage them on their own journey. Life used to be very hard. Like when I was young, me and my brother were homeless. People don't really know how it is like out there. Like, it's very hard. It's not an easy world to grow up in. I was going down a slope. Like I was going, I was digging myself into a hole that I was never gonna get out of. Even when I was going through bad times, I still would think back like, man, I wanna be doing something different. Why how can I do this? Like, like who who would be the guy to help me in? It wasn't just one guy that helped me. This whole program helped me, like, big time. I could feel it when I first came into the door. Like, I could feel it. Like, these guys really want to help me. Okay, so now you're going to separate your net into those three piles, right? Separate. It got me out of a gang. It kept me from going to jail. It kept me from getting into more trouble. This program has stopped me from doing a lot of stuff. My soul is like refreshing. You know like how you take a sip of nice cold water on a hot day? That is how it feels every day now. Like, it feels so good. I haven't had this feeling since I don't know how long. And I'm only 19. I haven't had that feeling for a while. I can actually feel myself growing. I'll never forget this program. This program will be stuck with me till I die. I love to see the fruit in people's lives. Not only the people that work at Kupu and partner with Kupu, but the students themselves, the students that get to go through these programs. I'm really thankful to Kupu and to all the people that I've met at all the different organizations that have taught me and the members that I've worked with a lot of things, culture, environment, life in general. Um, and I know I'm going to take away a lot of relationships that I've created. The vision that John and Kupu have really is a global vision. And it's a vision that will, will not only impact potentially all of Hawaii, but far beyond Hawaii. They're in this for the long haul. That is an ideal partner for Kamehameha Schools. And the kinds of things they're doing are really looking forward to many generations from now. To me, Kupu is really like um, a response. In, in our state logo, it says, Go mau ke ea o kaina i kapono. The life of the land is perpetuated in righteousness. And it's really about bringing our youth, um, the places that they impact, the communities that they serve, and the areas that are impacted by them um, into righteousness and it's about lifting our whole state up to making it better. <laughs>